This is an Ethiopian tale from Northeast Africa. I found this story in a book called I Can Make a Difference by Marion Wright Edelman. Fire, water, truth, and falsehood. Long, long ago, these four, fire, water, truth, and falsehood, lived together in a big house. Now, because they were so different, they worked very hard to stay out of each other's way. Fire would never go anywhere near water, and Truth made it a point to stay on the other side of the house from falsehood. Now, one day, these housemates decided to go hunting. They hadn't gone very far when they came upon a herd of cattle. Truth saw the cattle and said, how fortunate. We can divide these cattle equally. It would only be fair. No one disagreed. And so they walked on tending their herd. Now they hadn't gone very far when Falsehood decided that he wanted more than his fair share. So he went over to Water and he said, Water, you are more powerful than fire. Why don't you destroy fire and then the rest of us could have a larger share? And so water covered fire, leaving nothing but a puff of steam. And now there were three. When this happened, and falsehood went over to truth and said, did you see what water just did to fire? Let us get away from water. Let's drive our cattle up the mountain and so that water can't follow us. And so they did. And water being water, when water tried to follow, since water can only flow downhill, water was not able to follow. And then there were two. Now the two of them, truth and falsehood, drove their cattle up to the top of the mountain. And when they got there, falsehood turned to truth and said, I am more powerful than you. And so you will be my servant, and I will be your master, and this herd belongs to me. He said, I will never be your servant. And they argued, and they fought bitterly. They fought and they fought over who was more powerful, truth or falsehood, until finally they decided to ask when. Who's more powerful, truth or falsehood? but Wen didn't know. So Wen went about the earth asking the question, who is more powerful, truth or falsehood? Now some said falsehood because even one word of falsehood can destroy truth. Some said truth because like a small candle in the darkness, truth can change everything. Wen continued to travel the world listening carefully until when came up with an answer. Going back to truth and falsehood, when said, I can see that falsehood is very powerful, but he can only rule when truth has stopped struggling to be heard.